Okay, let's look at some MLA examples of how this style works. So what about multiple works by a single author? So here we're looking at a very straightforward, very common example. The author's name is Baron, and the first name is Naomi, the middle name is S. So in the MLA, the last name we write out the surname, then you use a comma, then the first name you also write the whole name, not just the letter, but the middle name you can use just the initial, just the one letter, and you need to have this period here. Next we have the name of the research paper, and we put it inside quotation marks. Remember, one space before quotation, no space after here on the opening quotation. Redefining reading, the impact of digital communication media. Then we have a period at the end and another quotation mark, closing quotation. And that closing quotation, pay attention to that, that has no space before, one space after. Very easy to get confused by this. Next we have the name of the journal, and the journal here is called PMLA. Now, if that's what the journal's called, we don't need to write it out if that's the normal way the journal uses their name. However, pay attention, we do use the italics. That means we write the letters at that angle, which is what? What does that mean? It's the same as underline. Underlining is what you use for the names of books and for the names of journals and magazines, etc. Then we have another comma, and then volume, V-O-L period, with a lowercase v. Then we have the number, and look there, one space in between, comma, N-O, number, period, space, number one, comma again, space, and then here we have January 2013, pages 193 to 200. Now, we don't always have this January, but if the journal does use that approach, then you go ahead and you put it in. If they don't use it, then you don't. So MLA is very clear about this. It's up to you to try to do your best to give the information that helps the reader find what they're looking for. So you try to copy what the journal does. And in this case, they have a volume and a number and a month. Okay, well, then we'll do that. And the year is right in there with PP, meaning pages. If it's just one page, it's just one P. If it's two or more pages, then it's two P's. Look at this next example here, Jacobs, Allen. So surname, last name, first name, all written out, not using initials. This is very tricky because it's very normal. You may have a article, you may have the person's name, but you only have the letter. Why would you only have the letter of their first name? As in this case, this is Jacobs Allen, and maybe you only have Jacobs A. So the question is, why do you only have Jacobs A? And I know the reason why, because you have a database of EndNote, or you have a database of Zotero. Zotero is great, by the way. And in there, you've already gotten this downloaded, but you don't have the name for A. Why don't you? Because when you downloaded it, you only grabbed the A. Maybe you automatically grabbed A, maybe you copied A, or maybe someone gave you this list, or maybe what lots of students do is they copied this from another person's reference list, and that person was using maybe APA. And in APA, you only need to have the initial of the first name, or maybe you copied it from someone who was using MLA, but they were using MLA wrong, incorrectly. So in other words, somehow you got a list and that's all you got. Well, what's the answer to that? The answer is very simple, very straightforward. Don't cheat. That is cheating. You need to have the research paper. You need to have it. You need to have read it. You cannot say you have read something and I'm using it as a source, but you did not actually read it. That is cheating. So you should have the paper. So what do you do? Just open up the PDF or go into your Google Scholar or go to the website of the publisher and get the name. So here it would be Jacobs Allen, not A. Now, Allen, does he have a middle name? This has no middle name. 
So we still use a period here, though. You see, that's important. It's not just when it's a middle name. We still have a period. Key point. Now then, the pleasures of reading in an age of distraction. This is a book. How do we know it's a book? Because we're not using quotation marks, and it is italicized, written at the angle like that, which means what? Which means it's underlined, same as underlined. What does that mean? That means it's a title of a book. So here, we're just citing the whole book. We're not citing one chapter of the book or one part of the book. This author, Jacob Salen, and his book called The Pleasures of Reading in an Age of Distraction. Then we have a period here. And then we have the location, Oxford. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not location. This is publisher, I'm sorry. Publisher, pub, publisher. You do not have location anymore. MLA used to have location, but you do not use location in the newest edition of MLA. And then UP is the abbreviation for the university publisher. How do you know to use UP? Check the MLA guidelines. It has a summary of the, of the shortenings that you can use, the abbreviations you can use. And U, capital P, capital means University Press. Oxford University Press, comma. Then we have the year of the publication. So that's pretty straightforward. And I think that lays out the most common case. This is the case of what you would do most of the time. Kincaid, Jamaica. So the surname is Kincaid. The family name or surname or last name is called Kincaid. The first name or given name is Jamaica. Again, no initial. We just have the first name here spelled out. And then quotation marks. So what does quotation marks tell us? This tells us that this is part of a bigger, something bigger. This is a smaller piece of a bigger part of maybe a article in a journal or a chapter in a book. In this case, it's the article, and the article is named in history, and we have the period there. After the period, we have the name of the journal, and the journal is italicized, again, written at that angle. A comma, a space, volume number. Pay attention, the V is a lowercase v, and N for number is lowercase n. A comma, and then spring 2001, PP meaning pages, two or more pages, 620-26. So in this case, we've got the spring in there. Why? Because that's the way that journal shows their issues. They have volume number. They have a volume number. They have a issue number number. And then they also have a time of year spring number. Okay, well, if that's the way they do it, then that's the way we follow.